Hi, my name's Tracy and I'm a mortician. And I'm Trish and I'm not. And welcome to another episode of... Are you dying to know? Because Trish is dying to know. I am. Hi guys. Hello, how are oh, you all? look at me in the light. Oh, 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 oh. Light Beautiful. on the righteousness. Ooh. Righteousness? No, that's the wrong word. <laughs> well, what, anyway, what word am I after? I don't know. What are we talking about today, Trace? Um, what would you... Uh, Hey, Cal. Did you see that? Yeah. God. Cal. Did you see that? Sorry, this is our friend Cal. Obviously, he wants to be a part of things. He's given me a nudge, 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 wink, wink. Oh, Cal. <laughs> he doesn't like you anymore. He's moving away. Control yourself. Are we ready? We're ready. We're ready. Okay. He's out of control. What? Oh, I am out of control. Oh, do you want me to talk? Oh, uh -huh. hi guys. I think we should talk. Maggots. <gasps> Maggots? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Sad part of things. But yeah. Okay. it's part of the process, I guess. Yeah. All right. I don't think I've actually talked about... Well, we have talked about decomposition of um, deceased and um, cases, but actually... Well, I had an incident with maggots once. <clears throat> it wasn't very pleasant, actually, but I'll share it with you. Um, Obviously, when we get decomposed bodies, sometimes they're, um, they're at a stage of decomposition where um, the flies have already laid their eggs and the maggots are already... So eaten. in situ, so in the house they were found in, yeah. or the shed, or out in the bush, yeah. or wherever. Yeah, okay. somewhere, and somehow the flies are in, and you know the maggots have started. And sometimes just a, they're not so far advanced where there's just a few, but other times, you know, they could be vast amounts so i have a deceased mum brought in and this person had been deceased for i think about two weeks but not found and it was summer in australia so you can imagine he was in the house and it was hot so he was pretty badly decomposed so when i got the um the bag onto the mortuary table as normal i was pp'd up but i could smell the smell before i opened the bag and um, you know, and did all my chemical spray of the bag and everything. And uh, as I went to open the bag, which is always slowly, you open the top end of it, there were so many maggots in, they just all fell onto me. Onto you. And then onto the floor, as well as still being all over the deceased. Yeah, because there was just a, a high volume of huge ones, let little me, ones. Let me just interrupt. So a, a deceased like that would come to you from the coroner or come to you from he came straight from, from the site scene? He came from the coroner. Right, okay. Yeah. He came from the coroner. Um, wow. Cal, maybe he doesn't like this story. Maybe not. Well, Calvin's never played up like this before. It's a little bit weird. Anyway. I think, I think maybe he wants us to talk about skeletons. We could do that next week. Oh yeah, okay. That's a good yeah. You happy with that? Are you going to behave now? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we'll talk about skeletons next time. All right. Um, so yeah, he came from the coroner's. Um, he he had not had an autopsy because I had done a CT scan, so I didn't need to do an autopsy. He died of coronary heart disease. But once I opened the bag, like I say, there, there was such a high volume of maggots that they just fell out of the bag onto me in the floor and. You know, we've got to, well, obviously I cleaned everything up and I had to get the bag off and everything and put it in the clinical waste and um, kill the maggots in the um, the clinical waste with um, bug spray and also there's a, a chemical we use to, um, to dumb them down and get rid of them. But obviously the body was covered. So hang on, how do you even begin to clean up when I'm imagining you're taking the bag off and then you've got to roll the person and move the bag and do all that stuff mm -hmm. and they're just falling everywhere. Like I'm, I'm imagining like a fountain of maggots just coming out of this person yeah. every bit. Yeah, it is and it was. So the easiest way to do it is instead of trying, what I'd normally do is roll the body to, <clears throat> to get the bag underneath is I, I cleared off the maggots as best I could off the bag and then I cut the bag around the body. Uh -huh. So I got rid of that bit into the clinical right. waste. Then I'm left with the body with a, a bit yeah, of bag on. underneath the body and then I'll hose it down, uh -huh. you know, with um, running water, we'll hose it and rinse uh, the maggots away. And I'll spray it with a chemical that'll, you know, kill them or, or, or at least calm them down because you have the little wriggly things. 
And I gag when I have maggots in my wheelie bin. Yeah, yeah, it's just the same. It's just the same thing. It's really it's um, heat and yeah, heat food decomposition. Well, it's their food, mm. so so I, I clean them off, get rid of them as best I can, clean the deceased. Um, and once I've done that, I can now get rid of the bag and get rid of as many as I can off the table and off the deceased. In um, this deceased didn't have any. Um, no, he did have clothes on, but it had they had been cut by the the coroners while they were checking, obviously doing their checks, whatever they did. So I got rid of all the clothes. Everything went in the clinical waste. Everything was contained, chemical, so nothing could get out and spread off anyway. And then I washed the deceased down. And then even though this deceased was decomposed, not viewable, his tummy was distended and I had to aspirate and also I needed to get the embalming chemical inside once we aspirate to try and kill as many maggots as I possibly could. Because also what you see on the outside there's a million inside oh, isn't there? Yeah a million more inside right. so it doesn't matter as how much all I want to do is get them as clean as I possibly can, um, do, uh, aspirate and um, put the air chemical in, uh, seal up and then wash and chemical the body and then rewrap the body we re I rewrap the body up again in um a sheet and then another plastic with um a um powder chemical uh -huh. to um try and keep the maggots from you know coming in. i can't stop them even though you chemically you put your chemical in balm in and you've put the um the spray in to kill the maggots. There's so many you can't stop them, but I can seal them, and then the bag sealed again. We have about three bags where we seal. Yeah, because the last thing you want is a coffin with maggots coming out. Well, that's out, exactly it, right. Because the service has got to go ahead, and the family knew there was no viewing or anything like that, and they didn't dispute anything yeah. like that, and they knew that because yeah. the poor man had, you know, not been found for a while, so they were, they were happy with, you know, the process of what we needed to do as long as the there was no uh, order and we could um, you know have some dignity for the poor deceased yeah. you know and make him clean as best as we possibly could so I did that cleaned him up as good and once he was all sealed in again placed in his coffin and the coffin was all sealed you know there wasn't there was no order because I'd chemical the coffin we have a, um, a absorbent powder that um, takes that smell away and the funeral was the next day so it wasn't like we had to hold the deceased. Plus then he was in the fridge as well, which yeah, yeah. slows yeah, them down, slows doesn't it? slows them down, yeah. yeah. puts them to a little bit of a sleep, I suppose. So, so yeah, so that's the process. It's um, it's unpleasant. I've had a, I've had a few yeah. bodies that have been covered in maggots, but this one particularly was just the volume of maggots was just, oh, huge. So so you got them all off you? Oh, yeah, because I've got my, you know, I've got my face shield, yeah. my mask, and I've got my disposable gown and my gloves and all of that and once I'd finished that I'd disposed of all of that in the clinical waste and actually I went in the bathroom to get cleaned up and it was just before lunch and I went into the lunch room you know to tell my story to my work colleagues while they're eating the lunch they love that <laughs> uh, but um so I went in and I was I got whatever sandwich out of the fridge and I'm sitting and I'm all clean and all ready and decomposition makes you really hungry. Yeah, you've said that before. Yeah, it really makes you hungry. Chemical thing. It's a chemical thing, yeah. I don't know what it's about. It's a chemical thing. It makes you really hungry. So I'm really hungry and I'm sitting. How, I'm the, how can you be hungry after that? Oh, it's just, I don't know. It's really bizarre. It's, it's weird, isn't it? It is bizarre. And it's, you know, because it's unpleasant. and Stinky. It's very stinky. It's very, yeah, it's really unpleasant. Anyway, yeah, you say you're hungry. Yes. And you're eating your sandwich. And I'm eating my sandwich when I get a hitch on my chest and I'm going, oh, I've got a hitch. It's really hitchy. Uh, a what? A, a little itch. And I'm going, oh, I've got an itch. So oh. I, I get to my scrubs and I do that in this, this. <laughs> oh, no, don't say it. One maggot. Got in. Got in. <gasps> and obviously it was on my gown and crawled and was in just under there. And I was like, I freaked out. I bet you did. I, I hope you didn't flick it on your sandwich. No, I ran out back into the mortuary to get it, put it in the clinical waste and then I just ripped my top off and checked there was nothing else there while I was oh, in Oh, yeah. And I got my top all off, give it a shake, checked and I got one of the other girls to come in to check me everywhere and I checked and I, I took my bra off and gave that a bit of a, you know, and 
and I got dressed again. Oh, it was oh, give me Lord, a bit of a fright, but um, the things you do. But at least, at least um, the gentleman was taken yeah. care of. Yeah, and he was fine. But the, you know, <laughs> it's a, it's one of them little funny tales that you have where. This and you can't tell just anyone that one, can you? <laughs> Some sort of dinner party conversation. Guess what I did at work today? And, oh, and guess what? It was nearly fell on my sandwich at lunchtime. <sighs> well, that was interesting. So, um, when they come in, you can treat them. Yes. And you get them regularly? Um, yeah. yeah. We do get a few that come in that have um, maggots present, but... Um, you know, it's just part of the decomposition process. and But I guess it's really important that you stop it right there and then, because otherwise it could spread through the fridges. Oh, or... yeah, yeah. If you, if you don't stop it and control it and seal them, and um, you, you, they will, I assume, well, they will, they'll just wriggle off into the next into bay. whatever, and, yeah. And we don't want that. We want, you know, we want everybody, <laughs> you know. Make so it free. We want everybody maggot free. We don't want any maggots anywhere. We want to get rid of the poor little things. And it's, you know, it's a pity I don't like fishing. Could have a lot of bait. Thanks guys for watching. Anyway, didn't say something about, what didn't we say? I questions. Do we have any questions or should we leave that for next time? We'll leave that for next time. For next time. Anyway guys, if you have any more questions, because we've still got quite a few to get through, but we'd still like Send some them more. In. Yeah, subscribe, tell your friends and... Um, Thank you to everyone and welcome to our new subscribers. We've oh, had yes. a few lately. Yeah, we've had a few. Yeah, hi everybody. Oh, look at me, getting in the sunshine here. Woo. Yes, hi everybody. Welcome. And, and bye everybody. And we'll see you next time. Take bye. care.